Mu'ajiza is a miracle given to um, the prophets. And the term that's used, if it happens with a person who's not in a prophetic state, is karama. So there's a difference between Mu'ajiza and karama. Mu'ajiza comes to the, the prophets, but karama can come to somebody else who's not uh, a prophet, but yet Allah blessed them uh, literally to have a miraculous event uh, to take place. For instance, to give you an idea of karama, uh, one of the great leaders, uh, the great uh, khalifas, Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu when he took over as the leader of the Muslims, the Persian Empire had attacked the Muslims from the eastern side. And it was a, a major empire with a huge army, and the Muslims had to defend themselves. He sent forward Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas uh, and his forces into uh, Iraq. And when they were in a particular area, the Tigris-Euphrates region, there was a group of the Muslim warriors uh, led by a person named Sariya, radiallahu anh. And they were moving uh, to carry out a mission. And in front of them was um, a mountain uh, with a pass. And the enemy were in ambush. So that if the Muslims went through this pass, that the enemy would then hail down on them stones uh, and then surround them uh, and defeat them. And Umar ibn Khattab was in Medina, and as reported, he was given the khutbah of Juma, and something uh, came up inside of him. Some sort of feeling came up inside of him, and so he, he, he shouted, Ya Sariya al Jabal. Right? And obviously, the people in Medina probably looked at him like, you know, something's wrong with him, because Sariya is a thousand miles away or so. But he said, and then it is, Sariya reports later that they heard Umar's voice like booming loudspeaker. Today for us, it would be like a loudspeaker saying, Sadia, the mountain. And then when they thought about that, then they reanalyzed the mountain and they were able to strategically move and to defeat the enemies. This is Karama.